Hi, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com on Monday, July 30th, 2012. I want to call your attention to silver. This is the SLV, the silver ETF chart. Very important breakout happening right now. Uh, silver up 1.5% today. More importantly, we have broken the back of this long-term uh, uh, downtrend that we've seen since March. We had a very heavy volume drop here uh, in early March, and um, uh, then we started this leg down here. And uh, we have come up against this overhead trend line, this blue dotted line that I've drawn along the tops here, uh, which encompassed uh, quite a few tops here. And in the last three days, we have broken the back of this. And uh, what happened is, is that uh, four sessions ago, we came up against this and looked like we were going to be turned back again and, and got into this little sort of wedging action down here. But we got uh, uh, two days of closes over this line. Now, on Monday, traders came in and, and, and saw this and said, you know what, uh, this is a good sign. Two days of closes over any trend line is a good sign and a buy signal for a lot of trading uh, uh, styles. And uh, we, we followed through today on that. We got above this blue line, the 50-day moving average, and we are now pushing this gray area, the Bollinger Band. And a Bollinger Band is a mathematical algorithm designed to keep prices within it 95% of the time. And instead of going outside the band, we are pushing that band up, which is a great sign. Um, if we look down here at volume, we see that uh, we had some volume accumulation here three sessions ago as we broke above this trend line. Very good sign. We've had uh, a decreasing volume a little bit, but still better volume, uh, uh, certainly to the upside, than we've seen in a long time. Uh, you'll notice here the red line is uh, this is the 21 day moving average is starting to turn higher. The blue line is flattening out the 50 day moving average. Great signs here, signs of a little bit of momentum. On the, on the negative side, though, we are still down below these longer term moving averages. This is, green dotted line is the 100 day, and the black dotted line is the 200 day. Uh, so we are still down below that. We are well off the tops that we saw here early in the year. So lots of work to still be done with the silver, but very encouraging breakout happening today. I'm going to scroll down now and look at some of the indicators. This is the MACD. This shows uh, 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 some momentum. The short-term moving average, which is the black line, has crossed above the blue one. And you notice that these bars here are stacking to the upside for quite some time now. Um, and uh, uh, we are starting to head up here with the MACD. Great sign there. Um, <clears throat> this is the um, stochastics. The uh, black line and the red line are soaring higher. They are getting to be above 80. Uh, we have the red line at 81.21. The black line at 92.36, they are in the overbought column, taking out these previous peaks here uh, earlier in the year, challenging this top here. So uh, um, stochastics uh, clearly moving higher, but overbought on a technical range. Now, one thing uh, to note that uh, uh, stochastics can be overbought as a stock or exchange traded fund is blasting higher. Uh, if it stays, if both lines uh, stay above 80 for three days in a row or longer, we're said to be locked in, and that's when big moves can happen. So let's watch that. Uh, you could get a natural reaction from being overbought by traders, pulling us back down to some key moving averages here or some trend lines. We'll have to see. Uh, so that's it. Great news on silver, uh, making a big move here. I'm sure a lot of traders are picking up on this. Hopefully this brings a lot of the shorter term traders in. As soon as we get a pullback and set up a new uh, line to bounce off of, we may bring some intermediate tra uh, traders in if we break the intermediate term trend. So right now I am going uh, from uh, uh, negative to neutral right now on silver.